Hey guys, what's up? My name is Chris Cool Mod. It's a video about the uh, update, uh, the monthly update of the uh, One X player and the Aya Neo. So this video it's for Aya Neo, the eight terabyte version and the um, One X player, uh, eight terabyte uh, version. So far, I did uh, include a free monthly update every month. Uh, but now I do not add anything, anything uh, new on the, those devices. Uh, so what's going to happen? It's now I only provide uh, emulator update. So instead of uh, losing your time and going to Syncovery just to update a few emulator, this video, I'm going to show you how to manually update your emulator. It's going to take a few minutes. It's going to be faster than sync recovery um, because there is it's not going to be a sync recovery update anymore what? on the uh, server on 2022. What's going on? Oh, my screen lock. So yes, so in 2022, there is no more update from Syncovery. You will do all your emulator update via this tutorial. It's very easy. Uh, also, I'm, I'm going to talk uh, about some people. They have different uh, One X and uh, Ayaneo uh, CPU version. It can be uh, AMD, can be um, uh, Intel and stuff like that. So what I mean is some emulator like Yuzu, uh, Simu, Dolphin, they use different API. So sometimes you will boot, uh, let's say you have a One X player or a Yaneo, you boot a game and it's a black screen. I'm going to show you how to fix it. It's very, very easy because uh, RetroBeats, it's, it's already preset to run on a certain API. Uh, like Direct X, uh, Direct uh, 11, Direct uh, 12, Direct uh, OpenGL, uh, Vulkan. So I'm going to show you how to change it. It's very, very easy. Um, and also I'm going to show you how to update your global, uh, your global setup uh, window. So everyone, what are you going to do? So now there is no more update on Syncovery. So what you're going to do, like usual, um, you will do your uh, window update. You have to click in setting, you go to window, uh, window update, and you check for update, you do your window update, right? After that, you should have in the wiki folder, uh, driver booster, every month, you double click it, you do, uh, sorry, you do a scan, and it's gonna scan every uh, peripheral on your uh, device, like 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 now I have Bluetooth update, display for the Intel, uh, all that stuff you, you need to update every month. You have to do this. Um, also, if you have uh, Intel, uh, if you have Intel part, you can click on this icon here, the Intel. You check for a driver update. It's gonna go on the side, and you check your update for Intel. If you have a Radeon, you should have a Radeon uh, IMD uh, red icon there. You click on it, and you check for the uh, driver update. But usually, usually driver booster should update everything at once. Um, Okay, now, to update your emulator, it's very easy. If you want to do it every month, that's fine. That's what I'm, I'm providing to you every month, but now it's not going to be available. You go to the uh, D drive. You go to RetroBeast. You double click. You can use your uh, mouse and uh, from the bottom if you want. You go to uh, emulator. And that's very simple. Uh, the first, it's CMU. You boot CMU. Oh, I booted two times. And it's very easy. You go at the end, help. 
I try to do it with my finger and check for update. Update, you click update, and it's gonna update your scene new for a uh, Wii U game. Click restart, it's gonna restart the emulator. You're good to go. Go back to emulator. Now Dolphin X64, same thing. You boot the emulator. Whoop. Okay, same thing, you go to help. Um, check for update. See, there is an update, install. It's gonna install the update and it's gonna reboot. So this way you can keep all your emulator up to date. I only show you the emulator you need to update. The rest, you don't need to update them. So it's up to date. You go back to emulator. Uh, the next one's gonna be PlayStation 3. You boot PlayStation. Same story. Whoop. You go to L. Check for update. You click yes, it's gonna update it. It's faster this way to update. Same thing on the Aya Neo. Same thing. Um, and that's it. I'm gonna show you how to change if you have a black screen. Uh, I think, oh, we need to update Yuzu. So I'm gonna show you, see you how to change the, uh, the graphic. So you boot it one time. You go to option, uh, tools, where it is? I'm using my finger, it's hard. Option, um, graph, uh, no, general, not graphic pack. Let's say general, why is going to the uh, control? I'm gonna use my mouse, my, uh, Okay, you will go to option, uh, general setting, you will go to graphic, and the first, see now it's Vulcan. If you have problem running games, you change your Vulcan uh, to OpenGL, all right? Same thing for a Dolphin. Uh, Uh, PS3, you don't need to do that, maybe, but you don't need. Yuzu, I'm gonna show you how to update it. When you open the folder, it says maintenance tools, double click it, check for update, it's gonna update your Yuzu. And same thing, if you have black screen, the game doesn't run on Yuzu, you go to graphic and you change your uh, Vulcan to OpenGL or Direct, whatever, is up to date. And to boot Yuzu, enter the Yuzu, window ms you go down and you double click yuzu and if you want to change your uh, gpu rpe you go to emulation configuration and what i'm showing you now booting emulator you can also remap all your button as you like there is a also a setting for the the button you want to press if you want to change them if you go to graphic see it's open gl now so you can change if you have problem to uh, vulcan all right uh, if you go on any emulator simu or dolphin or uh, Dolphin is for the Wii. If you go to the control on those emulator, you can remap the button as you like. That's it, it's very simple. So you update your window, you update your driver, you update the CMU, Dolphin, PS3, uh, and the Yuzu, and you're good to go. All right, simple as that. Uh, Xbox, you can do the same. If you boot the Xbox, usually it will say an update version, the news available. You click update. And it's gonna update it. Restart. Simple as that.
So that way you keep your uh, Andorra Yaneo or One X always updated, the emulator, and uh, you're good to go. Because no update is gonna be available on the same recovery anymore because I do not add any more uh, stuff because there is no place to add games. And I'm not gonna start uh, deleting games to adding games uh, every month, it doesn't make sense. So, so the end all is all set up, it's all working, and uh, you're good to go. So that's it guys, so enjoy. So uh, th this video is gonna be on Discord, with description, also on the log. So have a great day guys. This is how to update your uh, Ayaneo and One X and all the emulator and all the stuff every month. If you have uh, any question, you can open your uh, wiki folder. There is a wiki section. You have all the tools to uh, maintain your uh, device up to date. The Intel is there, the C cleaner, you can do it every month to clean your device. Uh, all the tools for the uh, Aya and One X are there. All the link, all the uh, all to use the uh, the One X player or Aya is there. Every link, everything you need is in the wiki. All right, guys. So take care, have fun, guys, and uh, uh, hope 2022 is going to be uh, a good year for you and me. Enjoy and have fun. Happy retro gaming, guys. Bye-bye.